Hey, this is Corey, uh, Professional Yard Services. We're here in Draper, Utah, and we're doing a water feature with Stonemaker uh, process again. Uh, it's uh, balmy 29 degrees on December 12th, so uh, kind of fun. We're busting through the frozen ground. Going to put some heat blankets on the ground in order to uh, do this project this time of year. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bridge, a little fire pit, a little water feature with a panel system, ledge falls. That should be pretty interesting. So we're going to see how it goes. We want to get it done in two days, so 48 hours. Okay, Corey here with Professional Yard Services again. You can see we've got most of the grass that was here kind of grubbed out, and we've got uh, the new soil in. We got some really good uh, three-part blend soil for the flower bed areas around the, the water feature area. What we're going to do now is just kind of carve in the indentions into where we want the water feature. One of the real tricks with these water features is making sure you look like the water from the waterfall is actually eroded the boulders that you see. You don't want the boulders humped up over the sides and make it look like somebody just put boulders on the sides and put water down the middle. I mean, a real water feature, basically the water's coming down from the mountain and going through the dirt and then exposing the rocks and boulders, and that's what makes your waterfalls. So some of the more uh, realistic water features I've done are more level with the elevation of the soil with regards to the rocks and the boulders, and then the stream is below that level. Um, so we were going to pour a little bit this afternoon, but it's about 4.30. It gets dark at 5 around here so uh, in the winter time. So we're going to just shape our stream and shape our uh, uh, boulder area. And then tomorrow morning we'll go ahead and carve and do some boulder setup. Uh, we're going to run the hose tonight. We're going to actually uh, put the water vault in. So we do what's called a pondless water feature where the water goes into like just a rock basin and then goes into the vault and then just recirculates. So you don't have to have, uh, you know, a pond. I mean, ponds are great, but they're a lot of work. So someone that doesn't want to have a lot of maintenance, um, this is the way to go. You get the pond, the stream, the sound of the water, but you don't have an algae plume uh, in an area where you're going to have to try to keep uh, the pH levels right and uh, keep the ecosystem correct. Because, I mean, it's not difficult if you know what you're doing, but it's definitely work. I mean, it's consistency. And uh, a lot of folks don't have time to mow their lawn, let alone take care of a, a full-grown you know, pond with koi and although it's really nice it's just not what we're doing here. Hey, it's Corey with Professional Yard Services. We're here in uh, Draper, Utah. And uh, we talked about it not snowing, and that's why we were doing a water feature, but it snowed. So you gotta kinda be careful what you wish for. Um, so we're in the middle of this water feature. We had our heat blankets. Our heat blankets went really well last night. It kept all this area dry and thawed out, even after it's snowing. I mean, it only snowed about an inch, but just enough to uh, make it a little miserable this morning. But it's dying off, and uh, we're going to get pouring here in about 30 minutes. We're doing our liner underneath our water feature just as a precautionary. This eight bag to nine bag cement mix, once we put the polymer, like the wall finisher, uh, the add mix kind of uh, bonds the uh, material together to where it's virtually waterproof. But uh, just as a precaution, we put the water, uh, the pond liner down underneath it, just as a secondary uh, membrane. But um, uh, so yeah, we're going to be uh, busting the move today on the water, so the ledge ledge falls from Stonemaker and uh, you know we'll just see what happens. We're going to do a little uh, couple of shelves, we're going to do a, some slab steps and uh, then we'll do another pour this afternoon with a bridge and some other things so stay tuned.
14th out here in Draper trying to finish up this job. We got our main pad going. We got the water feature pretty much poured except for the top uh, ledge fall part. We got our vault, 250 gallon vault in the ground. Made our little bridge, our flagstone, big slab steps that we like to do. It's kind of like a little hallmark of ours. Um, out here in Utah, guys will get big, huge slabs of eight inch flagstone and use them as steps. And so we, we mimic that with this cement. It works out really nice. Um, so we plan to get uh, the water feature done today. We did this little, uh, what we call a little uh, raised planter wall. And then we're gonna do another one over on this other side of the property that's gonna be a little bit higher. So uh, a lot of things going on this afternoon to try to wrap this up. You can tell it's about 28 degrees, nice and frigid. We had a little bit of uh, snow last night, just a skiff, but we had all of our cement covered in heat blankets that were plugged in. And uh, you can see the, the steam coming off of the cement. It's cooked it really nice. So, you know, it's a way for us to do this in this kind of weather and uh, make some money when it's not gonna snow enough to plow, so. Corey here with Professional Yard Services. The third day, we probably got, I don't know, maybe the first day we were working on it about eight hours. The second day we were working on it for 10. We had quite a few looky-loos working with us, just getting training and stuff. But um, And then today we had about six guys on it for, I think we're gonna work on it for about eight hours. But we pretty much got it done. I mean, you can see we've got the, the fire pit, the plateau, the steps, the bridge. We just haven't got the ledge fall water part done yet. We wanted to kind of pack that in and then we were going to use these panels to kind of make it mold so it looks like one big giant rock. But uh, you know the sun finally pops out after three days of freezing our tails off here and now it's behind the cloud again but can't complain it's not snowing on us so you can see the little retaining wall we are doing we call that little pony wall over here I'll pan over and take a look at that. It adds so much to a person's landscape that's really kind of one of our hallmarks is we'll take these normal just crappy curbing take that out and do these really nice raised planters and it's still it's not like you need to bring the elevation of the soil up it just you know it has the illusion of looking like a real pony wall or like a little raised planter and it makes makes the beds look really sharp so that's something that's really fun to do with the stone maker process it allows you to carve it and stamp it build it up I mean we're only going up eight or ten inches but it's it's real easy no forms no footer uh, tied in with rebar it works really nice so okay so we're almost there. We're going to tent it uh, this afternoon, warm it up a little bit, get some color and sealer on it. Might even get some water flowing, so stay tuned.